My dad's walking. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> the meatloaf! Go around front. I'm doing something. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us here on the uh, the first episode of the uh, Mike and Smythe or the Smike and Mythe show. Uh, I messed up already. I said Smike. All right. Well, start over. That was great. And just roll with it. They can edit this. Great. Stuff. Thank you guys for joining us here on episode one. I'm going to pass it on to uh, Durham to start us off here. Yeah, all right, everyone. Uh, well, we uh, are just trying to find a way to pass some time during these interesting circumstances. So we're throwing together the show. It'll, it'll probably be uh, a lot of comedy uh, and just, you know, talks of everyday stuff. So we want to start with how, I guess, how we first met. So we did meet at the Senior Bowl. Okay. Hey, good luck out there. Thanks, man. Okay. True. We were on the same. We we're on the same senior bowl team. True. Yeah. Here's and here's the thing about that. I knew about you coming into it because when we would play games at like three thirty in college, <laughs> I would come back and watch highlights. And every time you would score a touchdown, you do this <laughs> dumb celebration. Shots fired! Of, of, uh, Shots fired! And every single time it was on TV, I'd be in my room with my boys. And I'd be like, dude, that dude is, <laughs> I hate that guy. What a dumb celebration. So that that's all I knew about you coming into it. Right. So, and then obviously, you know, you learn to, uh, to know a lot about me and you realize I'm a great guy. Then we got drafted. Not on the same day, but in the same oh, year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then we yeah, got okay, drafted, yeah, that's obviously. correct. You know, from day one, you know, we were roommates in the hotel uh, for training camp, for OTAs, home day, home games, away games, all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, the friendship has just, you know, grown from there. Back when I was repping 46 and you were repping 86. Good days. That is, that is true. We've come a long way since then. We got to insert a picture here. There, there's a great picture. We'll just insert it there. We, we, we know in, what the picture yeah, is. Yeah, back in the original days. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, that's that's how we first met. Aww. You personally during the quarantine. How's it been? What you've been doing? I know uh, I, I need to start with you're a guy who has no hobbies. Like, you don't yes. have a hobby. So yes. I'm interested to hear. My screen time on my cell phone is oh, at, through the roof. It, it's definitely not something I'm proud of. Through the roof. So, Ended up, you know, kind of putting a gym together in the uh, in the garage here in my garage, Huge. trying to work out from home, just trying to make the most of it. I've been trying to pick up hobbies too. Uh, I'm more of a hobby guy than you are, but yeah, I'm trying to pick up some hobbies. My cooking has been incredible. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna come out of this like full fledged chef every night. <laughs> I'm whipping it up. All right, great. Well, uh, how about how about we get into a few uh, entertaining topics and get this thing rolling? Six and a half hours later. So, moving on, uh, we have an interesting one here. It's a belief that you hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll get into the details quick here. Um, so, I'm not gonna stand. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't entirely 100% believe that the sun is not hot, okay? Because I do. And I know people are, oh, the atmosphere thickens when you get close to the sun. I get that, okay? That's the science. That's not what happens, no. What I'm saying is that if the sun is so hot, mm -hmm. why is there snow on the top of mountains when it's closer to the sun? Hello, darkness, when it's more on the ground in certain uh, spots of, of the world. That doesn't make sense. I think it's and, something to ponder, something to think about. Oh man, no, it's it's absolutely not something to <laughs> discuss. Uh, you also mentioned that the fact that you were confused by the fact that space is cold. One, think, think. You know, like closer to the sun, space is cold. Is it? Well, technically yes, but there's an extremely easy explanation that explains all of this. So in a very general sense, heat travels from the sun as radiation. Radiation then hits molecules, in this sense, like gas molecules or something, and makes them bounce around fast. When they hit other ones, they warm up together. And then in space, there's, those molecules are so far apart that they don't, they don't hit each other and they don't warm up. I'm not disagreeing. You I'm can't, saying... it's science. You can't disagree. Yes, science! I'm just saying that there's something to be said 
for the snow on top of mountains closer to the sun. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Moving on here. Uh, this topic is about, it's actually about my home office that I'm currently working in. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, your Jeep. We're going to yeah. call it a Jeep, right? That's, that's what we'll call it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so your Jeep. It has a distinct smell. A good one. No, we're not going to call it that. The, the The air conditioning is broken. It's time to move on from it. You've had it, it for isn't. entirely too long, and it's time for something new. You have the uh, the money to go out and get a new one. And I'm not saying you need to you need to you know be stupid with your money, but what I'm saying is that you Listen. need to be smart about what you're driving because I don't know if you're safe in that vehicle anymore. Listen, don't get me started on your car. Your car is like a 2005 Tundra anyway. Yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna call it no five. We'll probably call it a twelve, two thousand twelve Tundra. I mean, is there a stain on the passenger side seat? Yes. Could I use an upgrade? Maybe. Do did I have to replace the tires because I was terrified for my life of hydroplaning because it rains every other day in Miami? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but okay. I took the, the the right precautions and made those upgrades, and I'm still driving. But in the meantime, during these quarantine times, I think you you know this is episode one of. Definitely a couple, and I think we're gonna keep this coming. And uh, the first episode of the uh, the Mike and Smite or Smite and Mike show mm. is uh, coming to uh, to a conclusion right here. Uh, and if anybody has any topics they'd like us to discuss, yes, yes, that'd be uh, great. My, I don't have a Twitter, but please at Mike and uh, at the Dolphin, <laughs> and we'll figure it out from there. Awesome. All right, see you guys.